What up YouTube? This your boy down low back with another industry talk. And first, you know we gotta talk about Slim Duncan, man. And this is real sad stuff, man. Slim Duncan got murdered in a recording studio a few days ago, man. And I mean, there's scattered reports all around about this, about how he was gearing up for a photo shoot after his studio session and got into an altercation with somebody who came and shot him in the face a bunch of times, man. But nothing has been totally confirmed because no one is talking about it. And it's, it's real sad. That even though I never was huge into his music, you never want to see somebody get gunned down in cold blood who was actually going to get his chance. He was going to get his shot to provide for his family, man. Rest in peace, man. Let's move on to Gilly the Kid. Gilly the Kid got some backing, finally. NFL star Tamba Holly, who recently got signed to about $60 million deal with the Kansas City Chiefs, he decided to go ahead and put down Gilly the Kid on his label, Religion Records. Now the way that this is working is just like any other record deal, basically. He's just throwing him money, telling him to go for what he knows. But the thing is, if you're not a major record label, that is not going to work. Sure, he got $60 million from his deal with the NFL, but he's not going to invest $60 million into religion records. Whatever money he gave to Gilly the Kid, it's not enough. Trust me, everything adds up. Everything costs way too much when you're talking about building a buzz to sell records. It's basically designed that way to keep out guys like this who have money. Because these millions that you invest, the game will eat that shit up immediately. So I'm hoping Gilly the Kid is smart about this shit. Just because you may got a couple million or so to invest in yourself doesn't mean it's time to splurge. Doesn't mean you need to go ahead up your video quality or nothing, man. It means you need a strategic plan to make that shit stretch. Because from here on out, it's on you. Gilly the Kid's... Destiny is in his own hands now, and if it doesn't work out for whatever reason, it's all his fault. But let's move on to something really funny. Snoop Dogg is currently being sued for $280,000 and two free shows to do in Beirut and Lebanon by a Lebanese promoter. Now, the reason why he's being sued is because he smoked weed during a performance that he did in Lebanon. The promoter came out and said why he's doing this is because Snoop Dogg tainted his own reputation by smoking weed. Let me repeat that because I'm not sure you quite got that. Snoop Dogg tainted his own reputation for smoking weed while performing at a concert. And now he owes $280,000 in two free shows? Or this guy's going to take legal action? Snoop Dogg built his fucking career off of smoking weed and gin and juice, motherfucker. This is an example of the crooked nature of promoters, the shady bastards. Who in the right mind doesn't think Snoop Dogg is going to smoke weed at a concert that he's performing at? I hope Snoop Dogg straight up tells this motherfucker, go to hell, I'm not doing shit for you. This asshole promoter could end up making Snoop Dogg not travel to the Middle East ever again because of this petty ass bullshit that he's trying to run to get some money. And lastly, let's go ahead and talk about Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne got his own clothing line coming up. It's gonna be called Trunk Fit Clothing Geared Towards Skaters. And again, another very questionable and going to be wrong move by Young Money. Because let's face it, if you are not Rockaway or Sean John, your clothing label is not doing that damn well right now. People do not realize that the same amount of work that you had to put in to actually succeed in being a rapper, that's the same amount of effort you gotta put in into this clothing line shit because it's just as compact of a market. 
Yet rappers with fame, they think that they can automatically just jump ahead of the line and shit. And all the big money that used to be in clothing ain't in it no more. This is why it's a flawed plan. But I wish them the best. I hope it works out for them because if it does work out for them, that gives other people more opportunities to get into clothing as well. But this was another industry topic.